This video is brought to you by the MTG Tutor, where good players get better. Hey guys, jumped into another two men, and although this hand seems a little bit slow, I'm going to keep it. Um, we are playing the Mono White Trading Post deck, and it looks like we're playing against Delver. So, currently, not the greatest, but it's okay. We have some decent game against them in the form of Gideon and Terminus and things like that. Hoping he doesn't flip up a Mana Leak here. He doesn't seem to hit, which is nice. Okay, so he's going to see, like, a pile and be like, what the hell am I playing against in these two-man queues? So we're uh, we're gonna sit here. We just played against zombies as well, and if you didn't check that out, check that out. And we're gonna be bringing you this match. He's probing. He's writing everything down like a good Delver player does. He's like meticulously like writing. Like ooh, hmm, hmm, yes, trading post. Hmm. Ponder it up, bro. You know you're putting something on the top. Alright, so what is our line of play? I'm gonna do this, get a land. Maybe if we have no three turn play, sack it off the core, get another land. Oh man, he's setting up double delvers. It's alright, we're gonna take one. Probably just gonna get our face bashed in, but it's all good. Okay, so yes, we would like to use this ability. And there's a planes. So he knows we have a planes. What are you flipping with? A ponder. Okay, that's cool. Well, I think we obviously have to O-ring one of these. It'd be nice to draw into a day of judgment. This terminus is going to be slightly too slow. I think, if anything, he's going to probably be leaking. Oh, man. Pike, huh? Oh, he's blue-red Delver. Okay. Well, now we're definitely O-ringing. It probably seems feasible to O-ring the Pike, but I'm going to just O-ring a Delver here. And if he Vapor Snags, he Vapor Snags. Because I don't think I can actually deal with... I mean, this on this is going to be nasty, as is, but currently it's 6. Okay, so he gut shots us. So he's going all in on this giant Delver plan, and we just have to draw it out. I have dismembers in the deck. Uh, we have Day of Judgment is live. Another O-ring. Quip it up. Bash our face. So he's trying to put us on a two-turn clock. Which, another land is not good. Okay, Trading Post won't save us. I don't think anything we could play this turn will save us. So let's play out a Wellspring and hope to draw into Dismember. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, we'll let him play it out. Um, we're pretty much dead here. Let's see, if I didn't take the Pike... If I took the Pike, I would have taken last turn 6... And instead, I think I would still be dead. Let's see how close we were to drawing a card. We'll sack this one. Gain a life. And we drew a planes. Okay, so that was pretty easy for him. <laughs> I'd say pretty easy. Alright, so what do we want against Delver? Seems like Staff is too slow. I would say Batter Skulls are not amazing, nor are Worm Coil Engines. I think Elish Norn is fine. Day of Judgments are fine, but they usually play well around those. I think this is where I'm at. we got to get rid of Pikes, so... Currently at 70 cards. That's too many, obviously. I do like these dismembers and tumble magnets, and the reason for having these in is the Delver matchup, so we'll leave those in. I don't think we want all these spell skites. They don't really block well in this matchup. They basically just uh, take a vapor snag out of the equation. 
And I think Powder Skull, although it is a faster answer, since we have no creatures, is going to be a liability. Whereas Worm Coil is still the same thing, but it's one mana more, and I could just replay it out. Where Powder Skull, I have to bounce it to my hand or have a creature in play. And then I don't think I want all of these dismembers. I'll play two. And I'll cut a wellspring. We want the Solemns to get to our late game. I mean, these really aren't that good for us. I'll play three Day of Judgments. Oh no, actually, I clicked two. Okay, we submit. Here we go. Uh, we'll snap keep this. I think this is fine. We'll get all our lands. We have a Gideon. We have two Day of Judgments in case he's fast. So it seems okay. It seems like we're going to be doing things. We kind of hope he doesn't play probe here, but I would assume he's probing us. So he sees our hand, so he knows he's probably got to trade these day for judgment, day of judgment one for one um, as he probes. Okay, so he plays Island Delver. That's why the deck's good, because when they have it, they have it. Okay, we rip a trading post. We'll just be getting some lands. And that's what we're doing. Landing it up. Boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Flip Delver? Why wouldn't you? Now I'm just making predictions. Oh, why wouldn't you have a mana leak? That's cool. Alright, so he's going to ride this Delver out, and that's going to be a problem for us. Especially backed with Mana Leak. But we can't really do much else. So we're going to play this. He might Mana Leak this to prevent us. Ooh, Steel Sabotage. That's a good one against us. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll be down to 14 minimum. And he still gets to keep his Mana Leak. Ponder. Hold up Mana Leak. We're going to try to Day. If we rip a land, of course. He's going to say no. Then he's probably going to say no again with a Snapcaster Mage. And over that time period, we will be at, I'd say, about 8. Then we'll probably play Gideon. Kill it. This all assumes we draw land right here. That's a good one. We currently can't kill this because he has mana leak up. But he doesn't know we drew these two trading posts. Okay, we'll be taking this, unfortunately, on the face. All right, I'm gonna force his mana leak here and then hope to draw land. I think that was a smart play, letting that go. So we draw land, and then we're gonna play day here, and he's gonna mana leak it. And then we just gotta hope he doesn't flip here. Although he did recently ponder, so I think a flip is very possible. Oh, well, let's see what he revealed. Pillar of Flames. Okay, I have a feeling we're dead. I have a feeling it goes Pillar of Flames, Snapcaster, Pillar of Flames. Dead you. I know, he's just pondering. Okay, so if we hit a land, I think it's, it's fair to assume we're dead, regardless. But if we hit a land, I think we might... Well, it's not a land, is it? So our only option really here is Day of Judgment. But I can't see how he doesn't Snapcast or leak this and kill us. I mean, these weren't really games. He just had, he just always had it. Well, thanks for watching. Sorry about that. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.